वेलकम फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज सतीजी साहू एंड वेलकम टू दिस कैप्सूल वीडियो ऑन द स्पेसिंग ऑफ स्टिरप्स सो ए शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट माय सेल्फ माय नेम इज सतीजी साहू आई हैव डन माय बीटेक एंड एमटेक बोथ फ्रॉम आईटी खड़कपुर ओके आई हैव आल्सो गिवन गेट एंड गॉट अ वेरी गुड रैंक इन गेट एंड आई हैव क्लियर लॉट ऑफ पीएसयूज थ्रू गेट ओनली आई हैव अ वेरी हाई स्कोर इन ईएससी इंटरव्यू ओके and i have been teaching in more than 15 states and for the next last uh, more than 10 years i have been teaching for this gate and esc and my specialty is that i teach all the civil engineering subjects and general studies also i worked as design manager in delhi metro rail corporation okay so today's video is on what it is on the spacing of stirrups or i can say the shear design i can say what the shear design yes to counter shear in our beams we provide what stirrups yes we provide what stirrups yes and today we'll be discussing what how to decide the spacing of those stirrups how to decide the spacing of these stirrups so if i say that i am arranging the stirrups okay suppose this is a beam i am drawing along the lengthwise okay suppose i am drawing lengthwise a beam i am drawing lengthwise okay so this is a beam and then there will be the longitudinal reinforcement right at the top there will be either compression steel or what hanger bars will be there and bottom there will be tension steel right bottom there will be tension steel and then i am going to provide what this stirrups okay then i am going to provide this word this stirrups this stirrups i can say are also known as what the transverse steel because they are provided in the transverse or lateral direction right so this spacing of stirrups this spacing of stirrups this is our subject of interest for this particular class the spacing of stirrups okay the spacing of stirrups this v is for what this v is for vertical stirrups because the stirrups are placed vertically right they are placed vertically now how to find out the formula let's discuss the formula the formula is sb less than equal to 0.87 fy very good okay asb yes divided by how much tau v minus tau c into b this is the formula right this is the formula to find out what the spacing of stirrups now in this formula what are the various terms now fy is what fy is the grade of steel which you are using for the stirrups right very good now what is asp asp is the area of the vertical stirrups area of vertical stirrups now how to find out this this is n into pi by 4 into the dia of stirrup whole square now this is what i can say the dia of stirrup very good now you might be thinking what is this n this n is what number of legs number of legs and the minimum number of legs in a stirrup is how much two right see if we have a beam and you know suppose this is the compression steel and suppose this is the tension steel okay we will provide like this let's yeah, suppose three compression steel is there and the three tension steel are there so if you are providing stirrups like this i can say there are what two legs right this leg number 1 leg number 2 but if you are providing stirrups like this there are three legs minimum there can be two legs right now this two legged stirrup or three legged stirrup that will be mentioned in the question don't worry that will be mentioned in the question so this is your asv very good now what is this b this is the width of the beam yes this is the width of the beam now what is this tau c what is this tau c tau c is the shear strength of beam this is what the shear strength of beam this is the shear strength of beam okay but beam is what made up of concrete right so i can say shear strength of concrete yes and this is a stress so it will be mentioned in newton per mm square now what is this tau v tau v is the nominal shear stress it is what it is the nominal shear stress okay 
and how to find out nominal shear stress that will be equal to the factored shear force divided by the effective area and effective area is what b into d right width into effective depth so this will give me what the tau v this will give me what the tau v yes so i can use this formula yes sb less than equal to what less than equal to 0.87 fy asb divided by what tau v minus tau c into p yes this is the formula now whatever value i get i should be providing a spacing less than equal to that suppose i am getting a Mm, spacing less than equal to 145. That means I can provide 140, 130, 120. Yes, I can provide spacing less than that. Now see this formula carefully. If tau v is less than tau c, I will get negative uh, spacing, right? Yes. If tau v is less than tau c, I will get negative spacing or I can say no stirrups are required, right? I can say no stirrups are required but still code tells that in that case you go for what minimum shear reinforcement yes the code tells that okay they are not required but still you go for some minimum amount of shear reinforcement and how to find out how much minimum amount of shear reinforcement very simple replace this tau v minus tau c with what with 0.4 now you can easily remember the formula for what the spacing for minimum, spacing for what? Minimum shear, minimum shear reinforcement. Because these particular stirrups are for what? For shear. So the spacing for minimum shear reinforcement will be less than equal to what? Or equal to I can say, how much? 0.87 Fy, yes, ASB. Then you write on what? In place of your tau v minus tau c, you write down what? 0.4 and then b. I can say less than equal to. Yes. Now, this particular formula, they ask in various ways, right? They will ask in this way. You see, 0.4b by asb is less than equal to what? 0.87 fy by sb, right? You see, the same formula. The same formula, they can frame in different ways. The same formula they can frame in different ways. So no need to worry. No need to worry. Okay. Just you remember this equation. In this equation, when you are going for minimum shear reinforcement, when? When tau v is less than tau c, just replace this tau v minus tau c with what? 0.4 Newton per mm square. This is point because the stresses are will be Newton per mm square. And you can see that then whatever form they ask from this original equation, from this original equation, you can reframe it. Like what I did here, you see, what I did here, I just took SB, okay, and I placed in denominator, yes, and this point 0.4B, I placed in numerator, right? And then this ASB, I brought down, yes? So ASB came here, yes? And then, you know, SB came here, and then this point 0.4B went up, yes? So whatever form they're asking, yes, you can easily answer for minimum shear reinforcement. But when it is provided, when tau v, the nominal shear stress is what? Less than the tau c. Okay. There is something known as maximum spacing. There is something known as what? Maximum spacing. Now the maximum spacing of stirrups, I can say SB max, yes, will be the minimum of two values. Minimum of two values. What? 0.75d and 300 mm. So minimum of these two values, I will take what? The maximum spacing. And you should make sure that whatever spacing you are getting, that should be less than this maximum spacing. Okay. So let us solve one question. Yes, it's a concept capsule. So in short time, we are going to understand many things and solve very important questions also. Let us solve one question. It is given that an RCC beam, actually it should be A, okay, an RCC beam, has a cross section such that the factored shear force is 220 and the width is 250 and effective depth is 350. So I can say B is 250 mm and effective depth is 350 mm. Very good. Now the tau C is given, right? The design shear strength of concrete is given at 0.62 
and there is a maximum allowable shear stress. This is what? This is your tau C max. What is why this is given? Why this is given tau C max? I'll just give some light on this. Why this tau C max is given? See, tau V, when greater than tau C, yes, if we see pure shear condition, if you see pure shear condition, this is pure shear condition, right? So, if you see this, there is development of what? Here, diagonal tension and this development of what? Diagonal compression, you see? Along this, I am getting what? Diagonal compression. I am getting what? Diagonal compression. Yes? And this is what? This is your diagonal tension. This is your diagonal tension. Very good. Now, when tau V is greater than tau C, yes, then there is chance for what? Diagonal tension failure. Because this tau C is corresponding to what? This tau C is corresponding to the strength in diagonal tension. And when the stress is more than that, there will be what? Diagonal tension failure. And therefore, what, what we did? We are providing stirrups to counter that. But, yes, but... If the tau V becomes greater than tau C max, this tau C max is for what? Diagonal compression failure. Yes? Then what will happen? Then there will be failure. There will be failure in what? Diagonal compression. Yes? Now concrete is strong in compression, right? Therefore, the tau C max is quite high compared to tau C. So what happens? To counter the diagonal tension failure, when tau V is more than tau C, we provide syrups and that will take care of the diagonal tension. Yes, when this is happening, we provide what? Stirrups. Very nice. But when tau V is greater than tau C, there will be failure in diagonal compression and therefore, to make sure the safety in diagonal compression, this tau V should be less than tau C max. This is the condition. Yes, for safety in diagonal compression, tau V should be less than tau C max. So, this tau C max is given how much? 2.8. So, for this beam, let us check that it is safe in diagonal compression or not. Let us check. So, for that, I will find out what? Tau V. Tau V is what? The factored shear force. This is the factored shear force divided by BD. Now, the shear force is in kilonewtons. So I will convert into Newton to 220 under power 3. Divided by B is how much? B is your 250 and D is how much? D is your 350. Yes. So this is equal to, I can say that, 220 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 250 divided by 350. I am getting how much? I am getting a value of 2.514 Newton per mm square. You can see that your tau V is less than what? Your tau C max. It is less, right? <laughs> that means what? It is safe in diagonal compression. It is safe in diagonal compression. So, next we can go for the stirrup spacing and all. Very easy. Now, the spacing formula, how much we got? Less than equal to 0.87 Fy. Okay. See, this film is much we have seen already. That it is safe in diagonal compression. Now, for safety in diagonal tension, what I will do? I will provide the stirrup. So, 0.87 Fy, ASB divided by what? Your tau V minus tau C into B. Very easy now. I can just put the formula. Less than equal to 0.87. Fy is how much? It is given Fe 500 grade. So Fy will be 500. Now it is see it is given what? Two legged, two legged 10 mm dia vertical stirrups. That means what? Two legged means n will be 2. And dia stirrups is 10. So pi by 4 into 10 square. Now tau v we just got how much it is? 2.514. So tau v minus tau c, which is given how much? 0.62. Into b is given how much? B is given 250. So I can easily find out the spacing now. This will get cancelled actually. Let us find out spacing. It will be equal to your 0.87 into 4 actually into so this 4 and this 4 will get cancelled. <laughs> so we can simplify things. So 0.87 into 10 square is 100. Okay. Into pi actually. And then divide by you see this 2.514 minus 0.62. So how much spacing I am getting? I am getting a spacing of 144.3 mm. So I can say the spacing has to be less than equal to what? This much. 
you can adopt any spacing below this. Suppose I'm adopting 140 mm. So what I will write down? I write down the stirrups provided what? Two legged, yes, two legged 10 mm stirrups. Okay, two legged 10 mm stirrups provided what? 140 mm. Yes, this is what? 140 mm. Sent at the, I can say at the rate, I can say at the rate, at that what? 140 mm center to center. Yes. So I can adopt any spacing less than this. Okay. So it's a standard question which they can ask on what? Finding the spacing. Now, why we didn't went for the minimum shear enforcement? Because you see, tau v was greater than tau c. So when tau v was greater than tau c, then I will provide the normal spacing. I will not go for minimum shear enforcement. Right? I not go for minimum shear enforcement. Now, if I ask you how to find out the maximum spacing, the maximum spacing is how much? Minimum of 0.75 D. D is how much? 350, right? And then your 300. The minimum of these two. The minimum of these two. Okay? So, 0 0.75 into 350. Okay? How much I am getting? I am getting a value of 262.5. So minimum of these two will be how much? 262.5. Yes. So the minimum of these two becomes what? This is the maximum spacing which you can provide. If this is the maximum spacing, how much I have adopted? The adopted spacing is how much? The adopted spacing will be is 140 mm. And this is clearly less than what? The maximum spacing. That means what? Everything is fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. So this is a very important point that once you get the spacing from the spacing formula, and what you do, you compare with the maximum spacing. So if I summarize the steps, okay, the steps are very important. If I summarize the steps for finding the spacing, what is the first step? First step, you find out tau v, the nominal shear stress. How will find out nominal shear stress? V u should be less than v d. Yes. Then you check the safety in diagonal compression. For safety in diagonal compression, the tau v should be what? Less than tau c max. Yes, this is must. If, suppose, your tau v becomes greater than tau c max, then what you have to do? You have to redesign. You have to redesign. How you can redesign? You can redesign by either increasing the FCK or, or we can say increasing the depth. How? See, this is what? V u by B d, na? So, this is becoming greater than tau c max. If you increase your depth, what will happen? This tau v will decrease, na? Yes. So, by redesigning or by increasing the increasing the depth, I can make this tau v less than tau c max. So, if such a case happens, you have to go for redesign. Then what is third step? The third step is you have to see that tau v is greater than tau c or not. If it is greater than tau c, very good. I can go for the formula, which is the fourth step. But that SB is less than or equal to 0.87 FY ASB divided by what? Tau V minus tau C into B. Now, if the other case means answer is yes, very good. If the answer is no means what? Tau V is less than tau C. What I will go for? I will go for the minimum shear enforcement, right? Yes. And the minimum shear enforcement, the formula is same. And tau V minus tau C will take how much? 0.4, right? I have explained that thing. This is step number four. And after you have done all these things, you should check that whatever spacing you have provided, that should be less than the maximum spacing, which is what? Minimum of 0.75 D and your 300. So this is a short capsule video, which we sought for you. Yes, hope you enjoyed this particular video. In this particular video, we discussed how to find out the spacing of stirrups. Yes, so thank you very much. See you next time. Okay, thank you.